All right, y'all, as promised, we are revisiting the weekly with some recommended builds, a few different ones that I didn't quite get to try out early on. There's a lot of fun ones in here. A lot of different weird German Shepherd scaling polar bear. There is a whole grab bag, but it should be a lot of variety as intended. So I hope you enjoy. Let's jump right in. I'm not gonna fall for it again. The ferret gecko is a trap. It is a bait and I will stand by that. Flexible geysers, that's what we're gonna be today. <laughs> unfortunate. Very unfortunate. I have a little homies here. I mean... We just do this. I don't know if I love it, but I don't hate it. Because I would rather have the cockroach ability here, I think. Turns out it didn't really matter. Oh, just kidding. I faked you out, it did matter. <laughs> Alright, perfect. We'll take a win there. Go here. Roll me. Hercules. Honestly, I think we just stack up some homies. This feels stronger, even though we're not getting any duplicates or anything. It feels like we're better off for it. The snipe there, please don't hit, thank you. What goes around comes around. Black hat, 006, one. Um, I'm taking the level. You can, you can yell at me all you want. I'm taking the level. <laughs> Uh, I think we sell you, grab a dolphin, and now we can do a little bit of this. A little bit of greed. You fried shrimp on somebody? Fried shrimp you, make you a little stronger. It is weak to mosquitoes now, to be fair, but what are the odds they have mosquitoes, right? Pretty good? Oh, okay. <laughs> Beautiful. Level man? Early deer is fantastic. Who do we get rid of though? This feels like one of those where you want to do a relatively large pivot here. Like even ditching the cockroach maybe? No, I think we ditch. That's tough. We'll ditch the cockroach. Then we can do this, and we can do this. And that feels decent. Not great. It feels okay. Feels like we're doing alright. Um, okay, we got saved. Tropical fish just won it for us. And then the bus. Who can, huh? Who can, Sam? Who can play that game? I don't know there are any other two can references, but <laughs> Roll me. Ammo, huh? Feels like we're getting into the too many pivots territory. I'm gonna refrain. I think we lock in what we got here. And then try to pivot into a higher tier, homie. You goofed it, brother. <laughs> you could have had it. If you didn't sell out for the fig. Hey, it happens. You sell your soul to the fig, comes back to bite you. Are we going to second tropical fish? Maybe ditch the Alchemedes. Run it like this. We go here, we go here. Third tropical fish. Actually, probably shouldn't have run thrown in the salad yet. I don't know if it would have been better to get tropical fish this early. It might have. I'll take it. Still at five hearts. 
Can't complain. So let's go here. Here. Roll me. Save. Got two levels incoming. That's huge. Throw a little cheese on here. That's also huge. We got this deer just kind of scaling its health in the back. <laughs> A lot of snipes going around. Not quite gonna cut it. We take our first actual loss. Get a level, get a level. What do we got to work with here? So here we can go insane. Just pick the absolute best team we can. I think it's gonna consist of a Komodo polar bear holding the gorilla to scale. Which means the deer is gonna go. Polar bear is in. Hold the gorilla. Could also run a panther, but I think we stick with this here. Again, we want the polar bear to be scaling the gorilla here. Kind of screws up this homie for now. Until we get attack higher than the. Maybe that's fine. Maybe we don't care too much. Got very fortunate that we didn't get sniped there. Might have been a little lucky that time. High key. Try to get the polar bear cooking. Oh baby. Oh baby. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Ditch the flamingo. Throw in the gorilla. We did the Cobra already, let's try German Shepherd. German Shepherd scaling. We'll get some Easter eggs going. Ooh, overwrite the, the chili, that's huge. Oh baby. Oh baby, we're in. We're doing it. Every time we don't lose is just an insane amount of scaling on this German Shepherd. So, I think we're looking for a panther right now. Might even consider ditching the tropical fish here. I think we will. Just for the bird of paradise prospect. Now we want to find a panther. If that would be so possible. Hold the chocolate. We can't. I, I need to make sure the polar bear hits the German Shepherd. That's the one downside with the polar bear. You're pretty restrained on what you're allowed to freeze. Almost got him. Is that gonna be enough? Not quite. One more attack actually would have gotten it there. Unfortunate. Let's go here, I think. Try to get you going. We could find an orca too, that'd be pretty cool. There's the orca. Are we ditching the eel? I think we gotta. So actually, <laughs> I say that we're doing this, and I'll tell you why. You want to play the Orca after the German Shepherd is played, because it also works when you just summon it out of the shop. But we need to wait a little bit. And we're definitely going to lose here because I just nuked our team accidentally. But that's okay. It's all part of the plan. We didn't lose. That is incredible. That is wonderful news. Is he big enough? <laughs> I don't know. Let's try it. Let's get rid of the Komodo. Throw in the German Shepherd. And now I think we just give Easter egg to everybody we find. Right? We need to find some levels on, on the gorilla. 
I think for now we can do this. Hold the Orca. Hold a second Orca. Care about this? Yeah, why not? Okay, keep it going. <laughs> keep it going. We can get a Panther, maybe a Toucan, something like that would be huge. That is incredible. Dude, how is this team winning? We don't even have summons yet. 13, 5. Or 15, <laughs> not 5. Um, fly is probably the play. Okay. We don't have the level 2. Only giving 8? Kinda sucky. That's kinda sucky wucky. Roll me. I think we ditch you. Right. Run a little bit of this. Hold the Easter egg. I like it. We don't need to freeze any. Ouch. <laughs> we may need a potato coming up here. Potentially. We draw. That's fine. Honestly, that's okay. There's another fly. Why did the fly not get the... Oh, it's until next turn. Of course. Silly me. There's the panther, but like... Maybe we keep it. <laughs> Here's what we'll do. We'll strike a we'll strike a deal. We're gonna say. <laughs> Alright. The German Shepherd is important enough where I'll risk not scaling the Panther. The fly could probably use a little help. Little potatoes, perhaps. Keep drawing left and right over here. Ooh, we landed. Beautiful. Here. Here. Roll me. No potatoes to be found. Nothing. Not even a thing. Okay. I think at, at some point we get rid of the gorilla. Look at all these homies. <laughs> Look at all of them. Just doing their thing. And then we draw again. That's kind of just like our, our MO, I think. We're just like really good at drawing. I think that's probably the play. Okay. Potato. Now I don't think we need to worry about you anymore. I really don't think the Shepherd is at risk. We just need to get him like levels, maybe? Could be a good idea. <laughs> I mean, the panther's just gonna keep scaling. If we just keep drawing, we're just gonna keep getting stronger. I'm not even worried. Too much. I might be a little worried. But, like, not terribly. I feel like we're good. We got enough summons. Alright. Now... We go here, we go here, we go here. We need to find a German Shepherd. Or a chocolate. That's none of the, none of the above, okay. Whatever, we found a chocolate. Hold the fly, he'll get buffed, I guess. Is this enough to win? That's the question. It's gonna be a hard sell, to be honest. But, oh baby, <laughs> you didn't even need a level two. Level one German Shepherd is still OP. That's fun. I'm glad we got to do a German Shepherd Easter egg build.
even if the Panther was level 1 and German Shepherd is level 1 and basically everyone was level 1, it still is pretty good. Which just goes to show how insane this would be if we actually found German Shepherds. Dude, just imagine this team. Level 2 Panther, level 2 or 3 German Shepherd. It's undefeated. Give them a potato just for fun in case there's more Cobras or something, but like, damn. Hmm, cockroach? We get the cockroach cricket combo, maybe? Not really what I was hoping for, but that's okay. Underwhelming rockets. Okay, what do we got here? And they get our homie here, but honestly, it doesn't actually matter. We do get the draw. We were gonna end up trading one for one anyways, so... Not really too worried. Let's get a second cockroach. Hold the termite, we get two level ups. Cockroaches really don't trade very well into other cockroaches. Or I guess they trade fine, but not spectacularly. Okay, we could get two ox. However, I'm kind of thinking we do a little bit of this. Do we care about an ox? Maybe. I'd go with a solid maybe. Let's say we don't care about cricket. Cricket is silly. We'll hold snail in case, you know, gosh forbid, you know what I'm saying. That's. Perfect, and then we're good. They should have known we wouldn't need the, the snail. Once you get an ox on your, your turn three, you're probably good. <laughs> you're probably gonna be okay. But you know. There's our two crickets, unfortunate. I mean, I honestly might just do... Gives us a little, little extra something, you know? Okay, I'm glad we switched up the ordering. That actually saved us, I think. Moving the termite up to the front. Y'all, I think we're running eels. <laughs> I think we might be cooking up some eels here. Let's go here, give the attack to the ox. Yeah, why wouldn't you, right? Berry armadillo. Give him some blueberry. Um, we get rid of termite. Yeah, I mean, termite's okay. Cockroach is probably better. Maybe we do a little bit of this. Do we care about salad bowl? Let's say no. No for now. Maybe we will later. We want blueberries on him so we can absorb some mosquitoes and whatnot. If we run into any. Off. That's unfortunate. Not gonna end well. Yeah, if you can get a like thick camel going, dude, it's hard to lose. Go here. I'm actually gonna do something a little crazy here. Just because so many of our guys are good with health. Okay, and we're not really expecting for the for the fairy armadillo to go off. It's more like it would be nice to, but until you really start putting some some effort into it, you know, it's not really gonna happen. Uh, I mean, we take the level here, right? Early polar bear is huge, actually. If we can get another fairy armadillo, maybe that would be amazing. Maybe hold the crow as well while we're here. Big. Big is good. I don't really want to spend the money on it right now. But it is good. Okay, looking fantastic. I mean, I don't know why. I don't know why we have a level 3 eel right now, but 
Hey, I ain't complaining. Um, we level the fairy armadillo just because we have a polar bear. It's tough. If we level into like a polar bear, maybe a rhino, there's a few good options. I guess we try it. We roll first, see what we can find. Do this. Be like a rhino giving plus four, plus four. That's pretty good. And I'll even keep a fig for him too. <laughs> We're always so close. Oh, every time. Every single time. Okay, so we do get the snail here, so that's something. We do this. Let's ignore the fig here for a second. That's exactly what I was hoping for. We can go here, hold the chocolate. Hmm, I think we just add it here. We could throw in the rhino in place of the snail and force these two to hit you. Maybe that's good. Is that better or is the rhino better? I think I could go either way. But let's stick rhino in here just because rhino is strong. And fairy armadillo needs some, some serious help. If it hits polar bear here, honestly, I think we're okay with that. Maybe we ditch the whole concept of the fairy armadillo. Just kidding, fairy armadillo's goaded. <laughs> uh, okay, great. Fairy armadillo is the best. One and one, that's fair. Go here. Oh, the gorilla. Honestly, let's just give you the, the attack right now. Something. Not quite what I was hoping for. What if we just do this, hold the chocolate? You're gonna get huge, Mr. Gorilla. Oh, this is beautiful. Fairy Armadillo goes hard here. Oh, baby. Now we're talking. I think we're starting to hit critical mass, which is fantastic. Um, let's see. Let's do this. Komodo is better than tropical fish. And then we're just going to keep the gorilla cooking. This is a beautiful, beautiful kind of team where you're kind of just doing, you know. That's unfortunate. I didn't realize you had the Ibex. I thought we were going to get another trigger. So be it. But yeah, this is great because our team is solid here and we're just cooking up a gorilla. You know, just, just as a little precaution, just in case we're getting the gorilla cooked up. Let's see if we can get the Komodo. That would be very nice. Unfortunately not, but I can do something like this. I think once we get to two parts, we'll pivot out. Like for the time being. You know, I'm kind of good where we're at right here. Okay, that's fair. That's fair, you got a really big homie. 31, 34. Here's what I think we do here. I think we ditch the rhino. I know. Kind of insane, but hear me out. Ditch the Komodo here? Is there any world in which we don't want Komodo? Who are we trying to go for? I'm seeing if we can get another polar bear side stacked and just hyperscale like maybe a cobra. B. 
Okay, that's fine. At least the polar bear is going to be buffing another polar bear, so we can still do the pivot reasonably effectively. Okay, good. We're going to get to turn into a ball. Not that it did a whole lot for us, but hey, <laughs> it did something. It helped a little bit. Okay. Get rid of the eel. I know eel is pretty good. But this is better. Beautiful. We can only freeze one though, interestingly enough. Because if we freeze two, the, the polar bears might act differently. We could also sell this guy and just... Yeah, maybe that's actually fine. I mean, we also have two Cobras now, right? So now the Cobra buffs here aren't really going to matter because they're going to get outscaled by the Polar Bear. But that's honestly fine, I think. Yeah, dude. Not a problem. <laughs> Not a problem. We got Garlic 2.0. now, not a huge buff, but it's something. And then we might as well do this. And then let's get... I think the taco is better. Hoping it would hit Fairy Armadillo, but that's fine. So as long as the Cobra doesn't go in the very front, we're happy. If he does, not quite as happy. <laughs> and then let's hold the Orca. If we lose this turn, we'll pivot. Probably ditch the Komodo. Yeah, see, we're good. What the heck? What happened to the rock? <laughs> what the heck? Why is your rock in the very front? The weird rat boy. Fascinating. Okay, I mean, polar bear. Kinda cracked. Most of our scaling here was from the polar bear. With a little extra help from Komodo. Polar Bear is kind of kind of crazy. 4-4 four, four per turn. Level 1. Beautiful stuff. Don't love the gecko. I think if we can avoid it, I will. We do have the ferret gecko combo. But whenever there's a ferret gecko combo, there's also the counter to the gecko. <laughs> In that there's a tennis ball. So it's kind of a hard sell. And there's a mosquito too, which is just unrelated to the combo, but it is a counter as well. Um, go here. I don't know, is cockroach or cricket better at level one? Maybe they just come out to like net even. I'm not sure. Somebody run the numbers, let me know. Alright, let's get a little bit of tier 3. Eel is tough when you don't have a lot of early... Like, we'd have, we'd have to get a tropical fish, if anything. So he's going to be useless until then. But I think we run an Okapi. Now granted, he's not getting a whole lot here. But it's going to enable us to roll a little more aggressively. Knowing that still getting some value out of the Okapi here. Looking fantastic. Absolutely wonderful. Yeah, because like we don't want any of these. We don't want to feel like we're like forced into something. You get two levels here. We can't freeze both of them and just insta- like, infinitely roll. Ooh, a little tamarind action, maybe? Hold the cricket. Let's just, like, shrimp up some tamarind here. <laughs> get a whole bunch of shrimp. And then we'll get a level next turn into- what are we going for? I think a deer turtle would be the options.
And let's see. That'll do. That'll do just fine. Didn't even need the tamarind. Okay, so now we can get a level here. We did find a deer. Deer is fantastic. I think maybe we get rid of... You're summoning a 2-2, two, two. you're summoning a 3-3. Three, three. I guess we ditched the cricket here? And I'm not going to give the health from the tropical fish to the tamarind. The reason being that we can just buy another tamarind and all that health is replenished. I'm down to run another dolphin though. That could be solid. We'll put tamarind up front. See if he can get a good trade in. That'll do. Ooh, not quite. The five attack threshold is so strong. Um, let's see. More fried shrimp. <laughs> We're gonna have a thick old homie here. I think we actually throw in the dolphin in place of the cockroach here. The termite at least is giving us some sort of help. You know, it's like slowly scaling alongside everything. Good snail, but where's the where's the point in that? We haven't found any other tamarinds, which is unfortunate. Oh, this is gonna be a big ol' oof. Just a big ol' oof. We found a goat. I mean, do you want a termite or do you want a rhino? Right? <laughs> I think the rhino is the clear play. If they're the basically the same stats. And there it is. He didn't have the five attack threshold breakpoint. And it came to bite him. I hate that when you're on this even turn and you get all this. Do you have any good. You can find a polar bear, I guess. Or a panther. We may end up just selling the tamarind here because we're not finding anything. Four attack, that's pretty horrible. <laughs> Go Rhino. Um, let's say we don't need the the panther here. Some more fried shrimp. This may be a little excessive, but you know, here we are. Oh, we're so close. Oh wait, no, we're level two. I thought we were gonna be level one again. But obviously we're not because we're level two. Bird of Paradise is solid. All right. Do we care about four health? Probably not. So is the dolphin even that good either? Maybe we ditch the dolphin. Run a little bit of this. And now I think we're just gonna have to start getting the health up on our tamarind. As much as I would rather just find a tamarind in the shop and get five health, it does not seem to be in the cards. Oh, what a terrible, oh my lord. As soon as we move him over. Fortunately, our rhino's level two, so that bailed us out of that one. Roll me. We could try a little goat bird of paradise combo. Unfortunately, we can't purchase another pet here, otherwise, we'd get a second setup. But this looks fantastic. Oh my lord. Okay, we got a lot of scaling incoming. 
That's good. Beautiful. Dude, this rhino is saving our booties, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> this rhino is the goat. Or is the goat the goat? Hmm. Important question. I think we level here. Because then we get two, we'll be at five. Buy, we can buy two. Yeah, let's do that. Then we can go here. We get two gold. And then we'll go here. I don't really... I mean, octopus is solid. I can't believe we haven't found another tamarind yet. That's insane to me. Maybe we run a Komodo Bird of Paradise combo. Let's let's hold off on it for a second. Okay. a <laughs> blast cannon if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Even more so than my Emperor Tamarin. Okay, well we could do something like this. And then we go here. You know what? Maybe we don't run Komodo. I don't know if I love it. That's beautiful. Roll me. German Shepherd with the Emperor Tamarin. We could definitely just like pivot into a huge summon build here. Give him 16 attack right away. I think that's probably going to be our best late game strategy. And we have like a scaling summon set up too, which is kind of unique. Nice try, Gurmbriz23. <laughs> I don't know how people come up with that name. How does that just happen? I mean, I'd love to get a level 3, but that's just way too ambitious. I think we do this. And then we got our goat triggers, that's huge. And now we're looking for like orcas, I guess. Throw a potato on you. There's the orca. Man, I, I guess we probably ditched the goat. Even though he has been very good to us. We'll just accept that we're only getting the one trigger of Bird of Paradise every turn. Because it's inconsistent anyways, right? And we'll grab some Easter eggs for the, the German Shepherd. I think this team is is going to be really good. We draw, that's fine. Just gives us more runway. That's what I like to say. Um, let's go here. Roll it out a little bit. I mean, I'm down for another one, right? Don't mind if I do. Pretty solid. <laughs> this team is kind of crazy right now. Alright. So this is 6 attack. This is 1 attack. 
But would we rather just look for levels here? I think so. I think we look for orcas here. And Easter egg, of course. Don't think we're going for a level 3 here. Mm, nothing. Is fly too. Fly is guaranteed 3 triggers. We'd have to get rid of our bird of paradise though. Is that worth it? Right now you're getting 16 attack. Soon to be... 24. I don't know, do we want to save the Bird of Paradise? For a little bit longer? Well, that's just fantastic. I think so. Oh, wow, okay. Just naturally find two German Shepherds? It's crazy. Dude, summons are insane. I'll tell you that much. Summons are ridiculous. Alright, we go here. Another German Shepherd we don't need, but that's crazy that it's here. Go here. Because we're pretty much all in on the the rest of the team. It's just we, we can only pivot the Bird of Paradise at this point. Right, like there's no way we're selling a 27-33 nearly level 3 rhino. That would be ridiculous. Alright, you got enough snipes there, brother? He's Louise. We <laughs> got guest out here, the legendary things. Coming out packing heat. Alright, now is probably the time to pivot into the fly. Since we can insta get a level 3. Sorry, level 2. And it just gets like infinity attack already, straight out of the gate. <laughs> um, do we care about the orca or the fly more? Let's roll, see if we find one. That answers our question. Um, well it doesn't. It answers who we're hitting the chocolate on, but it doesn't tell us who we want to do right now. I'm thinking maybe we set it up like this. Give the orca a little more runway here. an interesting combo. I like it. Not gonna like win ever, but it's interesting. <laughs> you get the level 3 Mosquito with the level 3 Ibex. Interesting. It's like a weird version of the Kraken in a way. Uh, you got enough flies, maybe? Um, I think right now we would rather get the Rhino. That's the, the bigger power spike. Oh, and then fly too. And then we're more likely to win since we're on nine here. But if we don't, for whatever reason, we'll have a level three fly coming in. We do need to get potatoes on that homie. So I think it might just be over. Yes, it is. Well, summons OP, I guess, is the moral of the story. <laughs> so it wasn't just summons. Let's keep in mind the reason this worked is because of that tamarind. Just getting the fried shrimp tamarind combo. I like it. That was a good suggestion. That was a solid comment. <laughs> Big fan.